I'm Andrew, the guy who was crazy enough to go quit his job on Skyrim and create this whole city-state thing with Mark. So, the first thing I want to talk about with this Kickstarter is where we want to go with the interface for the game. And that seems like kind of a minor thing, but it kind of hits the philosophy of everything we want to do. So, first of all, we know that once this game is launched, it's not our world anymore. You're the people who are going to live there. We built it, but you moved in, and now it's yours. And we're willing to give you control over that. Secondly, we're a small company. This is not going to be a hundred million dollar project, and we're not going to be able to support everything that every single person can possibly want. So we're, we want to open that up to you. And finally, it's 2013, and your ability to connect to something shouldn't end when you walk away from your big shiny desktop PC. So a couple years ago, I came around to this crazy idea, and I think this web thing, it's probably gonna stick around. And it should, that sounds dumb, but a lot of MMOs really haven't truly embraced that yet, and we are going to be one of the first ones to completely do it. So a lot of games have come out that are in web browsers, and that's not what we're going to do. What we want to do is take our game and instead of putting it on the web, we want to make it out of the web. And to be clear, we're still going to have the same big, shiny, high-end 3D client that runs natively on your machine, but we're going to embed a complete web browser into it as our UI system. And the amount of performance and optimization we get by doing that is incredible. You know, there's not a lot of UI toolkits out there that come anywhere even close to the amount of engineering that's gone into making web browsers perform fast. So first and foremost, what that means is that every single bit of the in-game UI, whether you know it's your overhead map or whether it's your chat or whether it's your you know buying and selling interface, all of that is going to be done with little bits of web pages that are integrated into the game. But because we're doing that, that also means that these are things that can come out of the game and live on a website that you can go to. You know, if you want to get to your guild chat, camelotunchained.com slash guild chat. It's that simple. And it's not going to be some, you know, secondary interface. It's going to be the interface from the game. It's going to be the exact same interface from the game. And you know, you will be able to get to that from anywhere, whether that's, you know, on a tablet or on the, a phone, whether it's on a bus, whether it's at your office. Your entire social life in the game and your entire economic life in the game are going to be accessible from anywhere. The game does not end at the client. The second great thing we get by doing this is that we open up the pool of potential mod makers for the UI to a much broader audience. A lot of games have used other toolkits like Lua, you know, I did it myself on Warhammer, and you know, those are really great, but there's no comparison to the number of people who know how to just make a web page. We want the barrier to entry to be able to create something in the game to be as low as possible, and we want it to be as accessible as possible. And the more people who can do this, the more creativity we're going to see. We have some really creative people here at City State, but the total amount of creativity here can't compare to the total amount of creativity out in the broader community. The last thing we get by doing this is, and this is kind of a technical thing for you know the real hackers and modders out there, is that because we're building our entire interface out of bits of the web, that means that we have to expose everything about our game through a web API. Um, that's kind of a technical thing. Uh, you've seen various external apps and mods that you know, interact with games like EVE and World of Warcraft and they're really good, but we are going to take this to the next level because this isn't some secondary back door into the game that you can get to over the web. This is what we are using ourselves for the game. It's the first class way to get information out of the game. And that means that you can build just about anything. You know, do you want a display of who got defeated in the last battle, cross-referenced with what kind of weapons they were carrying? build it, really. And you want heat maps of the best places to take down archers on the keep wall, you'll have that information. And 
you know, I am really excited to see what kind of creative, awesome things that people are able to come up with when absolutely everything about the game is directly accessible over the web. And obviously, there will be some technical and security limitations on this because we don't want to let you find out things that your character would not find out in game or anything like that. And there's an accompanying blog post where you can read all about those technical details if you want. But fundamentally, you know, we know that players sharing information outside of the game itself is part of the metagame in the community, and you know, we're not going to shy away from that or pretend it doesn't happen or make the players do it badly. We are going to embrace it and give you the tools to do it as well as possible. And the best thing is that when you make these external sites or apps or whatever, because there's a web browser in the game, they'll be able to come right back into the game as a UI mod. There doesn't have to be a distinction between them. There shouldn't be a distinction between them. You know, it, By the time we launch this game, it's going to be 2015, and MMOs are overdue for catching up with the rest of the internet.